I heard it said the other day, somebody told me that life is not about the mundane stuff, but it's about the big events. And uh, we think of big events that happen in our lives. And for me, probably one of the tops would be October 20th, 2006. At the top tonight, a very tragic and fatal wreck claims the life of one area student and injures several others. The accident happened just tonight. South that day, Justin and I and a couple other guys have been playing golf out at Huntington Golf Course, and we're just wrapping up the round, and I got a phone call from my daughter, Molly. Um, she was 15. Uh, sophomore at Airline High School. They were getting ready to head down to Natchitoches for the football game. Well, it just started like any other day. I mean, we had no idea what was in store for us. It was just regular day. I remember getting ready for school. We went to class. It was game day, so everybody was all excited. And The plan was that they were going to ride down to the football game with her and four other friends. So Megan was driving. Um, Katie had called shotgun, so she's out up front. And then I sat in the middle between Molly and Emily. We were just teenage girls. I mean, we had played our music, I think it was like Backstreet Boys at one point. Everybody was just singing and laughing. I mean, you couldn't be with those girls without just having a good time. We were dropping Caroline, my youngest daughter at the time, who was nine years old, uh, dropping her off at a birthday party at Heart of Bozier, and my phone rings. Justin called me on the phone, he said, hey man, who was uh, Molly riding to the game with? And I said, well, uh, Emily and I think Megan. And he said, well man, look, um, I don't know everything just yet, but you need to get to LSU Hospital. I just remember we had swerved and then Megan overcorrected. And after that, it, I mean, it was just like a movie. I mean, time slowed down. I can remember every second, every detail, every sound. And I remember it was just, I remember the car rolling and it was just so loud. And then it was probably the longest 30 seconds of my life. And then I remember it was just silence. We were called to a scene of an accident on I-49 uh, between Cachata and Natchitoches. We got down to the scene, we landed, and it was a mass casualty incident. And I remember all of a sudden somebody was there. And I, I can't describe it other than she just was like an angelic presence. Like, you know, like, I don't know how to explain that. It's like she was just meant to be there for me. I remember her telling me, it's okay, you can come out of the car. And I didn't want to leave them. But get to LSU Hospital Park and we start, just as we're getting ready to go across the street, I remember two things. One, I remember looking down the street and seeing an ambulance coming, lights on and uh, things were going. And then also I remember overhead seeing the uh, Life Air Rescue come. When we got the patient over to the stretcher and everything and got kind of settled, I walked out and uh, Brian was out in the hall. And Brian told me later that when he saw me, that's when he realized it was serious. And I remember saying, hey, Brian, um, Molly flew in with me on the helicopter. I, I think I knew, but I didn't. It was just such a state of shock, you don't want to believe it. Those four doctors called us into a room, and they began to explain to, to us that if Molly was able to recover from the the head injury that she'd received during the accident that uh, more than likely she wouldn't live much longer because of the rest of the internal injuries that happened. And it was at that point and just actually a little bit later that we had learned that um, the, the gist of the accident, and then we'll take a time out a second. With the help of my friends and family, that it got to a point where I realized that something good had come from it. And it's, it's just all about perspective. I mean, you could spend the rest of your life being upset that you had to go through that, or you can move on and realize the impact that they had and what they did, and that there's a plan for everything. I think the miracle in this is the lives that were touched 
as a result of those girls' lives, and obviously, particularly my daughter Molly's life. Molly had lived more and made more of an impact in her 15 years than some people do in 80. She knew how to live and make the most of her life, and she had an impact on so many people through this. About three weeks ago, I, I get an envelope on my desk, and I open it up, and it's from one of the teachers who was retiring at Airline High School. And she said, you don't know me, but, and began to tell the story of how she knew Molly and that Molly was in her class and the people that she was touched by. People started sending letters and calling. I mean, I got hundreds of cards in the mail from the school, from other schools, from the church. And I just remember the, the cards, all of them, just talked about how much of an impact that Molly and Katie and Emily had on their lives. Even though it may seem like it is impossible to live another day or to draw another breath. The reality is this, that God is still there in the moment and, and he loves you and he loves me just as much now as any other time.